well, this uh, this is the can open uh, is the introduction based on the K5 PLC. But now uh, we had another we had another series. We had uh, not only K5 but also KS can also support and uh, also the KW with LoRa can also have this can open. Okay. For K5, for K5 PLC, uh, it has support a free protocol and motor bus and can open. And uh, for the, we use the, this model, K451 models, because uh, K5 can have variety expand models and uh, we had this models can support the can't and uh, we need to regarding to the can communication we need to import the eds file from from the from the slate from the state and the eds it has the pdo and the sdo and for can free communication, there's no need to import the EDS, but we need to define, we need to define the format by the instruction. For K41, it can up to 112 slave station. And for, um, we, uh, we already had, we already had the EDS fail for the HMI and the servo. You can find the EDS from our PL Kinko Builder. Kinko Builder. The EDS from the HMI and also can find our servo. Kinko server, I mean, and also our our inverter as well. That is our EDS already contained. Firstly, first step, you need to install the EDS file from our website, and then you add the slave station from here. Double click to also right click to add the network. And then we can press up and down to modify the ID. The ID means the station number. And then and then we set the boundary of the can communication by here. By the global setting, then the maximum uh, URI we set to 100, 100 kbs is enough. And uh, then we the step four is the mapping the PDO, P, the RPDO and PDO. Here is a, an example for the for the HMI EDS. Here, as you can see, we select this HMI as a slave, and we find the object from the EDS, and it has the different value of the different address. And after we we select for the RPDO, it mean it mean read. It mean read, and for TPDO. It means text. It means send. And after we, after we uh, place the mapping object here, you will find the variable. This is for the PLC. So, for example, we set the VW one hundred 
1000 here as a variable and it mapping it mapping to the HMI with the LW a thousand it means this is for HMI so if we um, if we if we set this value as the maybe one two three here and you can find the where you can find the the value of this adjust lw1000 is also oh sorry this is the vw100 for the plc it will also change so so this for the can communication we mapping the hmi adjust to the plc adjust so we can uh, rate the value of the HMI directly by this uh, PLC, by this uh, VW1000. And here is the mapping, address mapping result. It will show you directly the HMI address and the PLC address from the RPDO and DPDO. And then you can check also the by the summary. By the summary. Um, and this is the parameter setting in HMI. We need to set the same border rate of the HMI. And uh, the, the node idea we set on the PLC because we set HMI as the slave. So the slave must with the same border rate and we arrange an idea so the master can only um, can or can read or write on the slave. So the the border rate and the the not ID. It's two important parameter we need to set on the slave. Okay, so that's work we can we can okay after that after that we need to wire it and download. For the for the wiring discram you can find on the catalog or the hardware menu. There is an example for the PLC and the servo. We can use the PLC control our servo directly. Uh, you can find the EDS for the controller, for the model operation, for the target speed and the target, uh, target, uh, target Tokyo and maximum territory. We can set this uh, from the RPDO and DPDO object. And then when we want to use them, we build a program. We use this uh, address. Uh, for, for this address, VW1000, it is the control verb for RPDO, for read. So we can read this uh, VW1000 directly. Okay. You can also give a value to this. And uh, by the way, there is two control words. We can, I think there should be the one VW1008. It should be correct. This one is incorrect. Because it's for read and this for write. Text. Text. 
Okay. So for this, uh, we need to set the control mode. We need to VB one thousand and three. And also the control word. Oh, sorry. The speed, speed, speed. Okay, so much for that. I. That's for the SDO instruction. And we can also use the SDO read and SDO write to define the object from this value. Firstly, we need to input the node ID and the index and the sub-index. For example, um, for, for example, in in here you can find the control word. For the control word, the index is uh, one thousand one thousand and six hundred. This is for index. And for the sub index, there are I think is here. Six thousand and forty is the sub index. Sub index. But we need to check by the slave menu. And there is the error code for it. And here is a here's an example. Okay, let me show you how you work directly.